Hello, today we're going to look at how to install Yami with the GNU package on Ubuntu 8.4. So what is Yami? Yami is very similar to, you can take your version, pick your version of Ubuntu here. Yami is very similar to Skype, WhatsApp, Wire, which is basically a ch chat program which you can call and write message, messages to one another. So, but it's a freedom respective app. So it's not, it's not a business who wants to get your data or whatever. It is a one to one. So there's no central server which all the data go to. It's a one to one connection. It is excellent in the sense. So it's, that's what I like about it is it is a nice, easy to use app which you focus on security and it's free to use. It's cross platform. So it's a fantastic app in the sense that you can respect your freedom and get and still connect and talk to the people you want to talk. So the main thing about it is both users, both people that you want to talk to, must have it installed on the system and yeah but besides from that it's a very cool easy to use system so as you can see see we are busy installing it now it's very simple straightforward process we just download the package you will find the link in the article in the description <laughs> and yeah then you just install it via the normal process and if for some reason for the normal software installation app GNOME software which is on your system and if you are on the Linux Mint you can use GDB which is pre-installed Ubuntu Mate also for KDE distros discover so there's many options they will all work just out of the box and if not you can let me know and I will try to assist you. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple, straightforward install. It can take some time to install. My internet is a bit slow, so that's why mine is maybe a bit slower than what yours, yours would be. But it's a very easy and straightforward app. It's fantastic. And yeah, so as you can see we're nearly done with the whole process so i'm not going to fast forward the fast forward the video now and yeah so i like it that we have great open source alternatives for chat and video calling and it's good we got the third party apps like skype and them available for Linux, but but we have to have freedom, respective applications as well. And this is what Yami is, Jamie Yami. And so as you can see, we're nearly done with the whole setup. I'm just gonna close my updates here. And yeah. So as you can see, we're nearly done. Of course, you will have to create an account for you and all those good stuff. And this will also work on all supported versions of Ubuntu, like this is Ubuntu 18.4. This will also work on Ubuntu 18.10, which is nearly end of support, and 19.4, and also it should work on 19.10 as well. And then also on Linux 19.1, .19 hopefully 19.2 will be released soon on Zoran and all the other. Ubuntu base and Debian base distros and they also got other installation packages for the others also so this fantastic very well supported version as you can see I love this logo because it's 
you connect from one to one, not centralized, and it feels to me like this logo represents it. And so you can either connect with your, if you, if you already have an account, you can connect, add it to your system, or you can create an account. You don't have to give a phone number, which is quite cool. Yeah. So I'm quite impressed with this whole setup, and I think it's absolutely worth trying out. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.